Raise your hand if you feel like the only sane person in a world full of crazy people. You know, I don't even know where to begin with this one because it is just, as the world gets crazier and crazier, you have to remain calm. You have to keep your sanity. You cannot go crazy with all these other people. You really can't. And what do I mean by uh, by this? You know, there's so much, so much craziness in the world, so much division, so much people who hate each other, so much conflict, so much just things that don't make any sense at all. Like, for example, you know, you see people walking around, you know, in, in very crowded places, okay? Very crowded places. And, you know, this whole virus thing. And they're and they have a mask on, they're they're double masked. You know, yesterday saw like two thirds of the amount of people masked up, one third wasn't. And it's like, if you're truly scared, why are you in this public place when there's hundreds of people? Why do you slip it down to, to eat and then just cover it right back up? Do you I, I, am I missing something here? I mean, you're, you're eating all this junk food, you're eating all this fast food, and you're obese, and you think that little thing on your face is helping you? Am I missing something? Am I missing something here? Hmm. So there's, there, there is that, that whole type of craziness here. You know, that is, I think, made people so insane. Made people so insane. I mean, you can definitely spot from a distance, someone who is a science denier and someone who, I don't know, I mean, you can't even tell anymore, but definitely the people who put that on, on their face, science deniers. Those tend to be the ones that are a little bit more out there with their conspiracy theories, who believe things that don't actually exist, they're not founded upon anything really. So it feels like there's so much craziness going on. You see so much craziness and yet you're the sane one. You're the one who is sane. You're the one who understands what's really going on here. But it's like you're the one who's called crazy. You're the one who's called crazy when you're not the one who's doing all these things that don't make any sense. Scientifically speaking, they don't make sense. Logically, they don't make sense. None of it makes sense. Yet you're the one who's called crazy. So. If that is you, because that, that definitely is me, you know, I'm one of the people who, very calm, very rational, um, logical, scientific, look at all the information here. I see people doing these things that are, it makes no sense. It goes against science. It goes against any sort of common sense whatsoever. And I see it. And I'm like, it's just, I feel as though there's just a, just a craziness a craziness that is that is going on and it's like am I am I the insane person here or am I the sane person I don't even know anymore I don't even know anymore but that is where you have to realize if you're calm if you're rational if all that sort of stuff then you are not the crazy person here all you can do is you can't be influenced by other people you can't be influenced by other people trying to make you feel as though you were going insane because when you think logically, when you think rationally, when you're thinking from a place of that is of, of your your best interest here, that is beneficial to you in any sort of way, then you're not the crazy person here. Okay? It's everyone else who has just gone whatever however it is, however that happened, they've just lost it. They've they have lost their, their common sense. You still retain your common sense. So you can't be getting, going crazy because of other people. You can't. But it's not just that, you know, it, it's multiple different things, you know. I think that we're just starting to see a lot of the craziness that is happening. You know, I, I was, I've been talking about for like the past year, all this craziness that was going to unfold and practically every single thing that I said has come true. Okay, whether or not you, de you decide to believe believed me back then or still believe me now know that what I said back then has come true I'm not the crazy person here for saying these things that are considered you know these 
crazy conspiracy theories when they've all come true. And it's just a shame because why aren't people listening? Not just to me, but to all of the people that they deem as some, someone who is crazy. Because we're not crazy. We're not crazy. We are sane. We know what's going on. We, we, we clearly can see through all of the fog. All the fog that is being placed upon you that you can't see. Like, oh, I'm only going to think right here. I'm not going to think outside the box as we, as we, as we talk about a lot. Think outside the box. Think for yourself. Think logically. That's what you have to do to continue to remain sane, to, to continue to remain calm during this crazy time because things are going to get much crazier. Things are going to get much, much, much crazier. So I think at this point we're moving into, you know, complete financial type of collapse. You know, I mentioned, I mentioned over a year ago, cryptocurrencies, alternative forms of, you know, cur currencies here. I hope everyone listened. If you didn't listen, I don't know what's going to happen, you know. You <laughs> Ultimately, you have the choice to do whatever you want to do. But I'm just bringing it, bringing it to your attention. You have the ultimate decision of what, of what you do. But, yeah. It's just something that you should always be prepared for. That's, that is the, the, the end line of all of this. If I say something, don't just blindly believe what I say. Don't just blindly believe anyone. Think about it for yourself. Research the information for yourself. Think it logically. Listen it, listening to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Telling you? What's your higher self telling, telling you? Is it saying, oh, something's not right with this. Something is weird about this. If you practice any sort of meditation, you're probably very much in tune with your true higher self. And you can see through all of this stuff. And you can see very clearly what's really go going on. If you do any sort of med meditation, they can help you connect with your true self and figure out what's really going on. And then you can devise a way to get navigated without being coerced, without being threatened, without being pressured into doing something that violates your own body autonomy. So that's definitely something that you should be practicing. Okay, But then you have to make up your own mind. You have to make up your own choices, your own decisions here. And you have to say, what is the best choice for me? What is actually going on here? What sort of ways can I prepare for what could, what could happen? I'm not saying that it is going to happen, but what if things happen in a very negative and bad, bad way? Or if there is a, some sort of financial collapse, are you prepared? Do you, ha do you have everything ready? Are you just living paycheck to paycheck? Do you not have any money saved up? What is the end goal here, ultimately? You have to be prepared for these things. And if you're not prepared, then you really can't complain about it because you did not prepare yourself. So be prepared at all costs, no, no, no matter what, because being prepared helps you navigate through this crazy, crazy time that we live in, that things could get, things could get much, much crazier. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't need to go into all the details about, you know, the food shortages, the, you know, supply so uh, sh uh, shortages. This was all, you know, I, I don't even know, need to go into too much detail about that. But just, ju just know that if you were prepared, you would already have been aware of this would have been happening. <laughs> just as I mentioned. I mentioned this last year. So be prepared because things may get even crazier. Hmm. Anyway, you all take care. Have a great one. Let me know your thoughts on, on, this, sub, uh, on this subject. Do you feel as though you're a sane person navigating a crazy world that no one just understands what's really going on here and you have everyone walking around like brain, brain, brain dead zombies? You know, brain dead zombies with two masks on and you know three needles sticking out of their arms <laughs> and they don't know what's going on they have no idea they're just they've, they've lost it they've lost it they are now a zombie a zombie so i don't know do you feel as though you are going around seeing all these zombies i do <laughs> i do it's just like oh, I, I don't know but 
Regardless, let me know your thoughts. You all take care. Have a great one, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.